Ya, 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 ya. When I was young, I watched a movie called A River Runs Through It. But when I'm alone in the half light of the canyon, all existence seems to fade to a being with my soul and memories, and the sounds of the big Blackfoot River and a four count rhythm, and the hope that a fish will rise. Eventually, all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. The words of one Mr. Norman McLean, cinematography of Philippe Rousselot, music of Mark Isham, and commentary and direction of Robert Redford, combined to create a series of scenes that place the viewer on the banks of the Blackfoot River in Montana yearning for a lifestyle lost on many in my generation. Fly fishing, a fascinating, artful practice. It requires of a fisherman the ability to read the flow of wild water, identifying every rock, boulder, log, and hole beneath the surface of a white-capping mountain stream. Reading the ecosystem as wild flora and fauna adapt to the seasonal changes at play as winter fades and spring takes its place. Pursuing native trout has always seemed the next step in a lifetime's journey of appreciating God's immeasurably complex and beautiful creation. It is a daunting challenge that even for the sharpest minded outdoorsman takes a lifetime's worth of experience to master. But from the first time I ever watched that movie, I envisioned myself on the banks of clear mountain waters casting a fly in the morning sun. However, for me, it would look considerably different than on the big screen. Instead of learning on the banks of the wild Blackfoot in Montana, I'd be with some of my closest friends in the waters of the Blue Ridge Mountains, backpacking into wild country creating memories that I pray will last a lifetime.
Before we could ever consider packing up a camp and heading into the backcountry, I first had to learn how to fly fish. All right, well, heading into the National Forest this morning. This is the second time I've ever been fly fishing in my life. Following a buddy who started eight months ago, so a little bit of the blind leading the blind. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe today will be the day. Haven't caught anything yet. It's gonna be beautiful no matter what, so I'm just grateful to be able to come out here in the backyard. Another way to get out in the outdoors and just appreciate the mountains. So we'll see what happens. She should be better. I'm thinking. I'm better off. Yeah. Went from a uh, fish hooked to what you're now seeing. They don't show this on the outdoor show, folks. Outdoor show, huh? Outdoor channel. It's, uh, it's only on the small branch. The problem <laughs> is that we constructed a bridge. I got it. You know, it's the, it's the ugly parts you don't see. How <laughs> much uh, fishing going on this morning, is there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to catch some fish. Here we go. All right, we had a little 30 minute escapade. Switched out flies. About to get a little dicey. Perfect. That's what we're here for. Need the net. Take him. The fly was not in the water for two freaking seconds. Pretty uh, fish. Dude. Pretty fish. Yeah. Nice job, dude. Good fish. First one of the day. Good job, baby. Let's, Let's go, baby. Brandon. Nice fish, man. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow, Let me get this out. First fish. Dude, this is a massive brookie for you. This is this this is like pretty much as big as it wow. gets. Wow, dude. Look at him. Nice man. Dude, that is a really <laughs> good fish. Let's go, man. Wow. It's a pretty fish. Really Look at that patterning, fish. man. That orange, little purple, that pink dots. Dude, that's a huge brookie. Man. <laughs> that is a massive brookie. Nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, dude. Look at that. Oh that's gosh. bigger than the last one. That's, that's bigger the than the last one. one. Oh my gosh, it's dude. It's far away the biggest one. I can't even believe that, man. <laughs> I can't even believe that. Come on now. All right. That is a pretty fish, dude. That is that, yeah. He's considerably bigger than the last one. Hey, Brandon. Oh, man. Dude, that... <laughs> <laughs> Two, three casts Jeez. after? Wow, man. You saw him take Oh baby. Alright, keep casting. You're up, dude. Yeah.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pull, pull, pull. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, strip, strip. All right, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still got him, you still got him. Next to your left. Pull it up, you pull it up, rod to pie, rod to pie. Oh, he's a little guy. Oh. All right, dude. Nice. Another one. You need it's your nice turn fish. now. I'm videoing, baby. Okay. I got it all. I got it all. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Woo! Nice, dude. Come on now. <laughs> My goodness! Got him? Oh, he's not hooked. Oh, he's not hooked. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> well, nevertheless, moving on. Learning. Flopping here, so That's a good spot yeah. too. Nice oh, 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 that answers that. <laughs> and he's gone. And he's gone in a flash. All right, good fish though. Yeah. Pretty fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> With a little bit of effort and a ton of grace out of Brandon, I learned to fly fish. Well, sort of. Next step, find a spot to backpack. Shenandoah National Park. A wild, beautiful snapshot of a land seemingly lifted out of time. Standing firmly in the midst of a hastened world that cares little for its offers a tranquility and challenge. It's unique, it's big, it's wild, and we heard it's got a lot of fish. say what's good for the goose is always good for the gander we're about to kill this mountain <laughs> we're going downhill so yeah we're i'd assume down. so yeah. <laughs> is this the game plan for you yeah <laughs> somebody's done it before me uh, they use this as the top so i like that better i like that's that cool. theory real mountain men don't need trekking poles from walmart that's right well they make their own. I get it from Target. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins. With the sticks, it looks really good, I think. Personally, I'm in love with the trekking pole technique. <laughs> liking it. <laughs> liking it. If you can do it the way you do, you know, you gotta have it. <laughs> this has been a long time coming. Coming on a trip like this, always wanted to go fly fishing. Always wanted to go in the back country and try it out. Here we are, 20 years old and finally get the opportunity to do it. A couple of great fellas. Hope the Lord uses this as something that uh, we can glorify him through. And here we are, baby. Shenandoah National Park. Whew. 
Come all you young rounders Hear the story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell But Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hill flowers grow. And I can't tell you how grateful I am just to be out here today. The last four days I have been sick, a little head cold, but it was crushing me. And I didn't think I was going to be able to come out here today. But a little Claritin, a little Advil, rub some dirt on it. Let's get out there because uh, the fish ain't waiting on you. And that's the truth. So figure it out. This is just your daily reminder. Get off your tail, no excuses. Get out there, baby. I'm a thief in the quiet of the evening. They'd steal away where the laughter would flow and the fiddle would play. Where well, the folks called it wrong. But hell, it seemed all wrong In the sun-painted picture In the day turned to night Back up the hills Where the new flowers grow Folks, well, a little uh, wardrobe change. We're about to go and have our first little evening of fishing. Brandon, give us the rundown on. Well, we're gonna see what we can get into. I don't know much. I don't know much yet, but it's shallow, so I think we're just gonna run with the dry. The yellow stone flies were the ticket. Were the big ticket items. Okay. And did you get? Did you get floating? Did you ever? Oh, I did not. Okay. Maybe you did. I couldn't would. remember if you got it. Or not. But it's a hard stop. Real too much muscle. Stop. He's picking it up quick. <laughs> bad timing. Bad timing. <laughs> bad timing. Got our first fish. Brandon had one jump out of the water on him. We're gonna keep moving up the river before the sun goes down, see if we can't uh, make something else happen. But it's good weather right now. And I'm mad, dude. I'm mad. <laughs> no, I know. I'm mad. You had jumped out of the water on I got yeah. it on video. I'm sure. I mean, we haven't been able to really see it, but. All right. Keep her pushing. Just picking it up, baby. Tough stuff. No. All right, man. Well, trout guys, but it's what's okay. a chub? It's a chub. I have. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Good. Hey. Uh, that's a chop, but no. For, hey, hey. <laughs> first fly. First fish on a fish rock. Okay. Day. Well, two fish on the day. One of them wasn't even a trout, and the other one was four inches, five inches. So, not a crazy, crazy 
eventful day in terms of fishing, but still a blessing. I would say it's still success, everybody's safe. And they're uh, doubling up on a hole right now. Right out of the guidebook, boys. I'm just ready to eat. Moving on. Successful first day, yes, no, Brandon? Yeah, I think so. Everybody caught something. Fish after four miles, that's something I can say, that's a first. Yeah. The, uh, what were they called, chubs? Yeah, chubs. Chub. Yeah, those Creek threw me off. Chub. Those threw me off a little bit. I'd never seen that. They looked, a, they look, you would have fooled me with the one you caught. I'd have thought that was a yeah. trout. Well, you know. I'm glad it was you and not me, though, that had to get it wrong. Uh, anyway. You know what I don't have? My spoon. You never got one. Hands it is, huh? I'll drink it. I don't know that I have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Couple of regular, couple of regular, regular Lewis and Clarks. <laughs> I'm whittling a spoon. I'm whittling a spoon. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but you should be. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. What do you think our forefathers did? You think they... I'm using, I'm using logs as trekking poles and wooden spoons. That's what it's come to. Well, only problem is it doesn't come down. Go ahead and hit it with a... Go ahead and hit it with a roll cast. <laughs> Here, let me... This, this <laughs> rain last night and the center of the tent was dripping <laughs> it was like, she was gotta be on a hole, right? to my face I'm not like, the only one that felt that it's uh it's a good night um <laughs> this shirt's wet no two ways about it <laughs> I mean I'm in it but like I don't know man I always did have a way with words there <laughs> I checked my phone at what one time point is it and I thought it was like now getting down to the lower waters where from what we can collect there's a little bit better fishing Brandon is uh, leading the way here surely Yeah. Also, uh, it's one kind of up there closer.
soon as I turn the dang thing off. Frank, come on now. Come on. Am I not just being a big? <laughs> hit, hit me on the head. Hit me on the head. Hit me on the head. Come on, uh. baby. Oh my goodness gracious. Good take, dude. Woo! Dude, wow. Nice. As soon as I put the camera down, though, are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh my wow, goodness. Dude. I'm so sorry. I love that, though. Oh yeah. Wow, that's pretty. It's a really good sized fish. Too. Wow, wow, man, that is a great fish. That is a great I'm fish. Sorry to keep you so long. You ready? Yeah. Here goes. See? Yeah. That's crazy. That Dude, crazy. nice bay. Great job, baby. Love that's it, a bay. Man. That's why we came out here, baby. That's fantastic. That's All right. Awesome. Well, next hole. Next hole. Okay. Let's get to work. That's funny. There you go, Jackson. There you go, Jackson. Good job. I watched it too. I didn't have, again, didn't have the camera on, but that's okay. It's... These things are so stupid. Well, there. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to insult you like that. <laughs> Little guy. These are actually pretty chub. I don't. Usually they're not. Yeah. Looks like a little mini trout. Well, I uh, just let me have it. Perk is making a fool of us all. First time ever picking up a fly rod yesterday, and he's already nailing it. Hey, I can't get it out there. And now I'm just over here like this. Yeah. I'm just flicking it. So I do. I pinch it off uh -huh. when I'm doing shorter casts. Uh huh. Because it, I find it helps me control it more. But when the, as soon as the fly hits the water, whether however you cast it, you want to pinch that off right there, no matter what. Oh, but when you're casting, you do when it's comfortable. Really. Uh, not know that. Mm -hmm. More comfortable. Do. He's under the rock. Oh, he's coming. He's coming towards us. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going. We're going to leave. Is what we're going to do. You get, you get this whole thing? Oh yeah. Well, we had a grand plan to uh, go hit a nice spot over there, but. Little, oh, oh, got me. What was that? What kind of snake was that? Water moccasin? Okay, I was thinking that. Came and took a peek and popped his head out at us and looked at us like we were dinner, even though he was about the size of my foot. I didn't like it, so. Uh, okay, let me just go ahead and break my rod. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay. And then you're gonna, probably going to want to be on that. Probably gonna be one of these rocks here. This is You want Yeah, 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 yeah. Strip, 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 strip. I got the net. I got the net. I got the net. Here, here, here. Oop. Bang. Okay. Nice. Okay. Watch this. Watch. Camera is trying to get him all right here. All right. It's all right. Don't squeeze him. He'll start yeah, freaking out. Just let him lay for a second. Ooh. There he is. That's pretty, brother. I just did something. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, and Moving on.
fun fact about my grandma, I told her about the food, I told her about the term food baby one time, like six years ago. Now, every time after we eat, Brandon, I got that thing. What's that? What, what's it that you called it? What's it that you called it? Uh, food, food baby, Grant. She goes, <laughs> that's right. I got that. I got, I got a food baby. For the love of the game. For the thorns, baby. Folks, we had a dry spell here for the past two hours, maybe. Had some rain. I gotta get a new net, dude. Brandon. Had some rain on the Bring first. Bring it back for the home team, huh? First That's cast. A beautiful little fish. Nice, nice. Right here, man. All right. Hope it's sign of things fish. to come. Good job, brother. Nice. Okay. Jack, get in there. Ain't coming with that one. First brookie. Yeah, we had a little rain come punch us in the gut, maybe about 30, 45 minutes ago. Um, put us down for a second, but we're back. You know what? It's all part of the experience, baby. Come on now. We're gonna make it happen for Jackson Trust. No, 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 no. I'm actually hold on. Took it right away too. Good job, brother. I'm it's sorry, always, dude. I no, 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 no. Uh... Woo! That's a pretty one, brother. Hang nice, dude. All right. Okay. Well hey, played. We needed no. We that needed that one. one. We needed, needed that one. There's more in there. I needed that one for morale. <laughs> 
Uh, My rod just broke. Since what? Yeah, yeah. My rod yeah. just broke. Snapped in it's half. Sorry, right. it's not. It wasn't expensive or anything. Yeah, no. It's they're pretty yeah, cheap. Yeah, typically. Pretty, you know, fly rods. You know how they are. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, could you hold that? Yeah, thank you. Okay, right. that's better. identified a trend with this past hole and the three before it. What happens is Brandon goes in, catches a nice little brookie, makes it look easy. I'm like, let me try my hand. You know, I hop in there and then I get stuck in about three or four trees, lose a fly or two, and then we get ticked and go to the next one. I'm gonna break the streak right here. This is gonna be the one. I can feel it. I did use your spoon. I told you to do it, I'm sorry. Michael, I'm going to go ahead and take that seat. Yeah. So we just got up and ready to get up and at him. I had a hearty breakfast of Sour Patch Kids and Pop Tarts. We're going to hike out five or so miles and get back to the homestead. Uh, Got pretty on sure. some good fish uh, yesterday. I'm pretty sure all I have left is a chicken and dumplings. So I'm fairly certain all I've got left is a s'mores pop tart. <laughs> so that's gonna have to do, I think. I brought entirely too much food as I do, so I'll share the that's wealth. Good a call. Bit. Maybe maybe keep those hungry jack potatoes to yourself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those four cheese, they weren't really hitting my. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good for a whittled spoon. That is pretty good. He's made that since we've been here. I forgot a utensil. So you know what? We're mountain men. We <laughs> will our spoons and catch our fish. I don't know what to tell you. Yep. It's almost all coffee grounds, actually. Get 
Count it. Count it. There he is. Oh, nice. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, man. Oh, there you go. Well, final day. Making our way out currently. We have hit a few holes on the way we came in, coming out, and Brandy, Brandon even saw a trout in the water over 10 inches, but we spooked it. Really, really nice brookie for Virginia. But, alas, nothing yet. Saw another good one in this last hole we hit, but sometimes the tide just isn't in your favor, and you know, got maybe one more hole, see if we can't catch something, maybe a little one. And then we'll be hiking out of here, and it's going to be pretty brutal. But that's why we do it. We wouldn't do it if it wasn't. Oh. Well played. Just like that. You make it look so easy, you know. I, I appreciate that. You got that net on you? holes we hit Perkins comes up again okay okay well, that's one I'm on my phone because my bag on camera died wow man that is gorgeous great job brother appreciate you good job dude Perkins will fight you dang that's bigger than the last that's a bigger one, one. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh oh he's pretty Folks, the camera was dead for all that, but I, I can assure you, how would you how'd you describe what we just had? The back of this pack is soaking wet. <laughs> Brutal. We had, uh, that was seven miles total from the last time we spoke. From the last time we spoke. <laughs> 1,700 feet. <laughs> We're feeling good. That's what it's all about. Don't do it the easy way. You know what I mean? Don't do it the easy way. Yeah, why would you do that? You don't want to drive up to where you're fishing. Well, maybe you do. Uh, maybe <laughs> it was still a blessing. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to go get some Chick-fil-A. Maybe Chipotle. <laughs> All right. Appreciate y'all. Fly fishing is easy to find beauty in from the tactful cast of navigating a low-hanging canopy. The gleaming colors of a mountain trout pulled from a spring stream. Or simply, the very environment in which one is required to weather to be successful. There is no shortage of sights and sounds that will burn themselves deep in your psyche upon experiencing them for the first time. We assuredly made numerous mistakes in our time in the backcountry, and there will certainly be more. But traversing the southern Appalachians will never feel foreign, even if learning a new skill. I continue to find new aspects of the same beauty I have admired my entire life here. Like a painting you've always come back to, to find new minute details you've always missed. But upon their discovery, never cease to enhance the entire piece, making it that much more awe-inspiring. Nostalgia is a picture best painted outside of your comfort zone. In many ways, this trip had little to do with a hook set of a native trout in wild water, but more with the reminder that the capture of the fleeting feeling of adventure is still possible in a world that regresses every day in the name of progress. The most interesting people I've ever met value experiences. They don't tell you what they've recently read about something. They paint a picture of what it was like to be there. Experiencing life fully and intentionally where your feet are is a challenge presented authentically 
in a wild place. Thankfully, God grants glimpses into his nature tangibly all the time. The question is, will you have your eyes open to see it? I pray we will, because we serve a great God. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you in the mountains.